Hello, 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 my friends. I'm Simon. Uh, today we have Euro Truck Simulator, and I will show you how to use Devil's DBF Tandem Pack because there are some things you need to know to fully enjoy this modification and those questions about this mod are occurring all day long in different forms how to install you probably know it already you need to add it to mod uh, add it as a mod from steam or uh, get uh, into folders uh, and put it manually but uh, as you can see there is no track available as a semi-rigid uh, track for dbf mod i have it installed already so how to get to it in this case i will be using mercedes uh, uh, point to notice uh, there is uh, th this mod works uh, only with uh, default tracks uh, so you can use it mostly for those tracks that are included with exception of uh, the newest DAF uh, XF series because uh, it's not yet enabled uh, by Fleming in his mod uh, anyway, let's get back to this Mercedes truck. I will switch chassis and right now I can choose many forms of this chassis and then there will be some chassis called Tandem and those uh, are chassis for use with this mod. Uh, don't mind this uh, broken graphics, I'm using Linux and there is one texture uh, misconfiguration in uh, original mod, so after uh, recompiling texture compression, uh, those textures switched from totally black uh, as unavailable texture to those uh, broken ones in some parts, in other parts they work okay. This is shader problem and I need to pinpoint which exactly texture uh, this is and switch it back to original one because the original one actually works better than modified one. Anyway, let's get back to this. Uh, we have few tandem versions of track available with different uh, wheel configuration. Uh, also, there are tag lift uh, options available but in the uh, current version of mod uh, for uh, Eurotrack uh, 1.40, uh, what we have, 46 right now, or 47? Ha, ah, I don't remember actually. Anyway, uh, for this moment, this is 1st uh, February 2022, uh, this mod has uh, broken wheels. Uh, it lifts uh, incorrect axle and that is caused by uh, SCS software uh, reversing order of uh, axles arrangement in the uh, track configuration files and those are not yet fixed by Fleming uh, in mod is our and uh, patches incoming for this so next version of uh, BDF will have this fixed uh, this also uh, is valid uh, bug for uh, trailer anyway let's get back to our options as you can see there is plenty of options for mercedes available those wheels uh, getting above uh, fender is uh, standard even for default tracks it not works perfectly okay mm, anyway let's make a basic short tandem version of track as you can see it's empty you have absolutely no additional stuff included here i put some bigger engine here and automatic transmission but that absolutely doesn't matter what is matter is color of track i will load here something uh, let's play with current 
basic theme of uh, Chinese New Year of Tiger. But that uh, actually doesn't matter as much. Now let's move into getting this track working. Uh, we are using accessories. We have few more options available here. As you can see, depending on your current position versus car, there are different options available. One of them is side skirts. And uh, as I said, this, there is broken side skirts because of my manipulation with files. In my version of Linux, uh, it would be totally black, probably. A shorter and longer version of side skirts. Okay, let's get back to front view of this track. And uh, here are three dots. One is closet R, uh, closet R, which is box on the rear of the car. Uh, if you can see, I have two options to choose from. One is paint, uh, which will take paint from original track chassis. And second is skin, which will take paint from original mod. I have uh, additional paint mod uh, installed for my custom skin for uh, BDF uh, that makes it green. In original version uh, it would be pure white because original version of uh, BDF mod makes uh, all stuff uh, added with this mod uh, in neutral white, whitish, grayish color. You can choose some additional uh, packets here, also closet or box. Uh, this is original color of modded box. I didn't paint this box in uh, texture files. And the most important thing for this is this dot called Kuzov, but it is visible only on uh, uh, view angles uh, pointing to the rear of the track. So if you don't see it, you need just to watch from front of the track to see it. And here are the main juice of uh, this mod. You can choose different styles of caps, uh, caps back boxes of this track. Uh, universal one, uh, curtain side, uh, cool liner. AK box container, flatbed, flatbed with uh, sh uh, drop sides, uh, log version, and two paintings of uh, cistern. Uh, one uh, information addition, additional information. If you take flatbed any kind or logs this truck will not be loaded with cargo if you will go and pick up cargo uh, this is a long time planned version of this mod to be done to add cargos on those uh, platforms including truck and trailer but for now it's uh, only decorative uh, purpose here uh, same stuff goes with uh, all other uh, parts of this track. Let's take, for example, um, oh, let's say cistern. It's chrome one or white one. Let's take, uh, or, or not, let's take my box. Uh, right now you can see few red dots with additional accessories sockets for this uh, particular let I want to remove this spoilers from this cup but it may not be possible it's the fault oh, ah, no, never mind let's get back to Kuzov here you have red dot it's uh, probably best to put uh, additional uh, front lights here and you can put uh, actually almost anything you want for example here are 
bugged versions of different stuff you can put here which is taken from our tracks everywhere uh, for this one I would use either beacon or front lights the bottom one accessory slot is best suited for uh, any use of uh, extinguishers they are put here or to use any toolbox, ladders or uh, thermo boxes, coolers, uh, refrigerators on the side you usually will use uh, some kind of uh, yellow uh, in lights either down and top there are different lengths and configurations so you need to find one that suits you best some will get out of the car some will stay within this box so you just need to find a correct one for this also for back uh, there will be on different packs different lights uh, same for top uh, it's best to use either beacon or rare lights and middle one is reserved for deflector skins and uh, wind deflector with skin it's painted uh, as uh, rest of the track and as paint is you it is using uh, paint from uh, track cab okay let's remove this and switch to cistern for example other one you have less uh, dots available here there is nothing in the front there is one on the back as you can see those lights are not aligned so it's better to use uh, other kind of decorations here okay let's confirm this and i want to get this truck rolling i will remove this side skirt will be looking better okay confirm and purchase and i want it in turku I want to drive it, so I need to move my driver to this truck because it's on the second slot here in the garage. Okay, we can now drive. Where is closest, uh, closest company? Uh, it was here somewhere or I will need to move faster I may cut this video for this okay let's make some adjustments for my setup right now 8.5 is okay steering wheel okay I can see everything in mirrors I will put some additional stuff here okay let's go to some company and pick up the cargo where is closest company here somewhere to van hakivi probably we will use no you can't use cargo market but you have a truck what's going on when we use freight market we have standard setup of different semi truck trailers so what's wrong did i did something wrong with this truck why i can't use any uh, contract for this truck it's because the mod and the game is done that you actually cannot uh, use track alone uh, currently Eurotrack simulator doesn't provide you option to drive us only truck and pick up any cargo with that so we need to cheat this and how to do that let's turn around and going to the through the grass grass yes 
I am the best driver in the world. Let's get back to garage. We need a garage for fixing this stuff. Ah. Did I say I am the best driver in the world? Okay. Let's stay here for a moment. And now I uh, will purchase a trailer because like I said this truck with this whole com cargo compartment is treated as standard semi truck that you can attach a trailer to it. If you want to use this truck as graphical one uh, without any trailer as rigid uh, cargo truck you need to cheat the game with buying a not existing trailer. Uh, while adding this BDF mod, you will get three new types of trailers. Draw bar, which are trailers with dolly. Different configurations, I will get to back, uh, uh, back to this in the moment. You have uh, tandem trailers, different kind, way more easier to operate. Uh, driving with your truck uh, with uh, tandem trailer is practically the same as driving uh, standard uh, semi truck with uh, standard trailer. With drawbar trailer, you need to act like this is uh, z setup of two trailers, and uh, they are way harder to back to po uh, parking positions. And there is no trailer trailer. It is visible as a cone and this is trailer that we will buy right now. You can choose your type of cargo. So I have cistern that should be able to move uh, food products and uh, fuel. Depends on cistern type. But uh, with this kind of trailer I can cheat this. And I can for example take logs cargo here. Let's cheat it this way. It will look uh, somewhat crazy. Yes, I want to store it in garage. Okay, right now in trailer manager I want to use this. Okay, now I have GPS location for this trailer. If I would be parked in this garage Using this trailer would be uh, attach uh, it immediately to my truck. If not, I need to attach it manually, and it, it will look uh, somewhat strange. There is our trailer. Let's back to it. Let's turn outside the view. I just need to get into this trailer as it would exist in the usual world and somewhere you will get option to attach it and then it disappear, disappears and now you have track with uh, invisible uh, one pixel wide height uh, with trailer attached that doesn't uh, broke anything and it's invisible so game uh, you, you can see that uh, you have this truck only without any trailer and the game thinks uh, it has trailer uh, that uh, makes another problem in this game because this trailer behaves very strangely and it's uh, practically impossible to park it uh, and pick up cargo with it so to fix that another problem we need to go to options of gameplay and make sure that you have uh, automatic parking dialog enabled. This will allow you to pick up cargos. And now with job market we have cargo market available option. For my cistern I can take logs. So let's drive to Turku and pick up these logs. I want it faster so I will just, just teleport here up to company 
where I can show you another things. Okay, we have everything available here and we are going to pick up our cargo. We need to park at this spot to actually pick up this cargo. I want cargo market and I want our wood chosen. Take the job. Now we have some place to park and we are going to use it. As you can see on the bottom right, uh, I have actually parking options available here. Uh, I would I would use this after I park this truck in actual place where it should go because as you will see in a second I cannot park with invisible trailer on any spot and drop or pick up cargo because it will not turn green in any way. Only way is to teleport this truck to this exact location to make it perfectly strike for an editor. So I parked, I press enter, cargo is loaded. Oh. And now I was standing too close. It may happen different versions because not each company is suitable for using this. Sometimes it's better to use easy parking spot than hard parking spot because these hard parking spots may cause this different and strange behavior. Let's uh, teleport to our target location without moving we have here and the same pro exact same problem will be here with parking on this spot in this company thank you thank you Uh, remember that I uh, I am carrying uh, what I'm carrying exactly wooden beams in this cistern. That that is why important uh, uh, how important it is to choose uh, actual trailer because it uh, defines what cargo you will be moving and not uh, what you put on your truck. So you can have a uh, nice looking setup that uh, will uh, move cargo that you want. As in an uh, earlier example, I cannot park and get this into green no matter what. So I just need to get it and press enter with that automatic parking option enabled. It will just deliver. Okay. But uh, we have other trailers here also. Um, same uh, rules as for standard trailers we need to choose type of trailer and that will define uh, what cargo it will be loaded remember that on flatbeds and uh, box uh, wooden trailers uh, there will be no cargo visible so it's best to put uh, to get a different kind of standard trailer or a cistern one Let's take, uh, for example, this cistern one, another. Uh, changing configuration is possible with using, using different number of wheels. Uh, the same problem with uh, lifted wheels occurs for those uh, as uh, well as for those that are in uh, in the truck. Uh, why this cistern doesn't change color when I choose it here? It's uh, exactly the same as with truck. Uh, main cargo part is uh, with texture file with ad additional add-ons and this color defines those cargo boxes that you can put under. So 
those elements you can choose uh, color of and rest uh, will be unavailable to choose from you can select another set of uh, bumpers here if you want and some additional options and uh, let's buy this track you can also as usual attach uh, track to compare it and to uh, see if it fits correctly to the track or not we may want another version of color for example or change colors to much better and uh, this uh, will make this setup as usual cistern with the track and the rest uh, with this uh, trailer we could normally park and uh, use it uh, to gather cargo same is yes i want to leave this modification if we use drawbar trailer we can also customize this change number of wheels in our setup Dif many options to choose from uh, you can check which type of cargo you want to drive with in this trailer and that will define what cargo you can move uh, some uh, have more axle options available also color defines boxes under and not actual uh, model of track so remember this when you are choosing and you can select way more different configurations here also attach trailer to look how it actually looks in the world you can still choose your wheels and other options so just play with this and have fun and you can make quite fancy setups with this so I think that's, this covers everything, if you have any additional questions for uh, Devil's BDF you just need to ask in the comments, I will try to help you with any of your problems with this setup uh, including pointing to how to fix uh, this in Linux if you are interested uh, or you can find the answer in uh, SCS forums uh, where I gave script to fix textures from totally black to those uh, not so perfect uh, textures uh, it's best visible error is when you will try to get Volvo track because Volvo track is affected uh, way more than other trucks if you choose high cab and fancier and tandem I need a tandem and there is uh, some part of texture around the lamp broken so it will take some more effects uh, when you're using uh, tandem uh, chassis okay I think this is everything I have to say and have fun with this mod and keep in touch and see you